Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You never know on this channel what you're going to find. And uh, today we're looking at some of the earliest uh, Christmas lighting I've ever had. These are a set of eight electrified candle holders. Uh, these started out life as regular uh, candles for the Christmas tree, candle holders. As in the uh, old days, that's all you had was candles, and these were a safe way or safer way of putting candles on your tree. You had a hook right here. You had this enclosed glass paned uh, uh, holder, and then this part here slid into the bottom. The, this pushed down like this, and then the candle came out the bottom for putting a new candle in it. And that ring of metal that the sockets mounted on was permanently part of this. That little tab has broken off. The manufacturer on the candle holders, holders itself is, I believe, Defoe. There is a brand name here which is very hard to read, and if I can get the stupid thing to focus, I'll be in great shape. It's not, probably not enough light here. Now, it's not going to cooperate with me today. Right down in there, it says, I believe Defoe. But anyway, someone way back when uh, decided to electrify these with the newest electric lighting. Now, these are the very earliest version of these lamps, and I'm going to show you how I know that. These are carbon filament bulbs exhaust tip on the top that already shows you that they're old but one of the things the telltale sign of this and I hope I can show this I'm going to try I'm going to put it against a white paper background here um, this is a machined bottom it's not stamped out it's turned on a lathe to make these socket ends and that's one of the most uh, interesting things uh, you can see the lathe marks I can get this down in here. Okay, there's a good picture. You see, it's almost, uh, you can tell they're squared off threads because these were made on a lathe. As a matter of fact, you can see where the cutting blade stopped at the end where the solder dot is. And the bottom has got a solid, what they call the tuna can bottom with porcelain insulator. These were more than likely made by Edison, General Electric, something like that. They are definitely America of American origin, and the date is approximately, oh boy, I would put anywhere from 18, the late 1890s to maybe 1905 or so. It was before the Japanese ones came into existence, into the, 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 before the Japanese started making the miniature lamps. But each one of these, I have tested it, and they all work. And it is so cool. I don't know if I... I haven't tightened all the bulbs. I just got them today. This was an amazing find. This was on this set of lights was on eBay for almost two years. The listing began on June 16th of 2011. And it was a, a best offer. Buy it now. But the price was very high. Well, I can see why it was high now. Uh, I made an offer. I was the eighth person to make an offer on this over the past two years. Apparently, the seller got tired of having them around and uh, took my offer. And although I paid a lot for them, there's another. Look at that. Is that cool or what? And, it's, and it lights. I'm not going to take any of the dust off these. They say, they say these are over 100 years old. This is like any antique. You know, you don't... Uh, you don't clean them. You don't take any of the dust out of them. That's all part of what they call the patina. It's patina. Yep. But anyway, that's what they are. And uh, there's a couple of uh, fractured panes. I think there's one or two missing glass panes. The paint has faded over the years. But the fact that there was a set of eight makes perfect sense because you would need eight of them in series to run off a 110-volt line for, at the time. And uh, But the fact that they remained in the same family all these years and didn't get broken up and, and like, separated from each other is just amazing. And uh, But anyway, that's it. That's the uh, surprise uh, show of the day. Antique Christmas lights.